driver exposed APIs. So far, we have explored macros and data structure provided by our driver header file. Now, in this lecture, let's see what are the APIs a driver should implement and expose to the external world so that uh, any application can make use of that. In our case, let's enforce our driver to implement these APIs. Let's explore one by one. And again, it's, it is always recommended to write the header file first before even code anything. Uh, don't just dump everything on the source file. Uh, use the header as the law enforcement body in your project development. In this case, it enforces the source code writing guy to implement these APIs and promises the application to provide these APIs to make use of. All right, let's explore the APIs one by one. The first API is used to initialize the spy device. Which spy device, what are the configuration values, everything will be mentioned in the handle structure, which will be filled up by the application. Now, these two APIs will be used to data TXing. We will be implementing, as I said before, two separate APIs for data TXing. One is in the case of master and another in the case of slave. So if master wants to do data TX, then it will use this API. And if slave wants to do data TX, then it will use this API. These two APIs will be used by the master and slave to do the data reception over SPY. And again, there are two separate APIs for master data reception and slave data reception. And the next API, which is used to handle the interrupts for SPY TX and SPY RX events. What actually happens is that uh, when the spy interrupt triggers, the interrupt service routine will be executed in the application. And application then calls this API to handle the interrupt. So the application also passes the handle structure of the spy peripheral to this API. Great. So these are all the APIs which we need to implement as a part of our driver development. Great, now in the next lectures to come, we will implement these APIs one by one.